right. I guess I can have this moment to myself while uh, baby Nala isn't here and David's not here. And I can be able to kind of be open and raw with how I'm feeling about stuff. I thought it was going to be a really long time before I would be back on camera crying again. <laughs> um, I know some people are like, dang, girl, like, you can't win for losing. Like, you cried about not having a baby, and then you cried about being pregnant. Now you cry, now you have the baby, and now it's like, ugh. So let me tell you what's going on. This is a little bit of... A spur of the moment type video because I'm having a lot of anxiety and basically my nerves is getting the best of me. I'm using all the dirty, uh, <laughs> um, whatever this is called to wipe my tears before I wash it. <laughs> basically, I'm scared. I guess that's all I can say to start off with this video. I started back work and if you have been following me a while, I always talked about that I wouldn't be starting work until Nala was at least one years old. But if you see my most recent video, you would know that I got a new car due to my transmission went out on my old car. And that's a whole story in itself but you know I just been a little bit on edge we just couldn't afford to fix the car and for it to break down again my focus had like 130,000 miles at the time that it uh, went out and I just paid off my car maybe about six months ago <laughs> And it's not really about that. The basis of my stress and my anxiety is due to me actually having to go back to work. i actually been back to work for at least two and a half weeks now, which I've been making do in that situation when it comes to Nala. But the main part of this is because I clearly have to get someone to watch Nala because David has to work and now I have to work. And, you know, we've been having family and stuff watch her up until the, this point. I guess what sparked, get your shit together, get your shit together. I guess what sparked this video is because last night, right, we had a scare that someone was breaking into our house. And it was just me and Nala home. And I didn't catch nobody coming to the house, but noticed that, uh, the lines were tampered with and our door windows uh one of our windows was unlocked and I don't touch my windows at all like I could be in the dark like that's just how I am I heard noise in the back of my house then when I tried to figure out what the noise was I put Nala in bed she was already in bed but I put her down and I heard the noise so I shut her door and went to the dining room where I heard the noise coming from. And I just heard the flipped on the porch lights or whatever really fast. And then I heard the noise go away. Then when I looked, I seen that my door, my window was open. And my blinds were kind of hyped up. You know, that was a little scare. And I eventually got past that. My nerves was really bad from that. But, you know, we were kind of dealing with it. But I guess because of the stress in, from that situation and now it's like I'm obviously looking for daycares because she has to be watched. I'm scared because all the daycares I've been looking for, this probably sounds so stupid, but all the daycares I've been looking for in my area that's not going to like put us way too far out of the way have all had some type of review of either people touching on the kids or beating the kids or some kind of way of touching the kids and the ones that I did see stuff like that was way too far out of our price range 
I think the thing is, is that, I'm sorry if this sounds stupid, but I'm just having a little bit of anxiety and fears that, you know what, is something happened to my kid because I know we said the age was one years old minimum that she would go to daycare. Just enough to be able to understand the bad, you know, pain, stuff like that. But the goal was to pretty much not until she was at least two or three to start daycare. That was if we had to do it maybe two to three or maybe never. I think in spite of my recent research that daycare can really be good for a child's development. But you know my baby is only four months and if something happened to her or somebody put hands on her I don't know what I would do. Like I almost end up taking her or registering for this place. I did a lot of research on this place and then you know I saw only good reviews but some told me to check their Facebook. When I checked their Facebook it ended up turning out that it was like a family home daycare and basically the husband was touching every single kid and that the woman of the house wasn't barely there and this is a company like a company and you always hear about those horror stories about daycare and kids getting touched or beaten abused and stuff like that but the amount that I'm hearing from each place is scary. You know, we already are willing to pay a little bit more out of our own budget and price range. <sighs> There's only so much out of our price range we can go and right now I just haven't been able to find a decent one in the price range I wanted. I mean, I see decent ones, but when I mean decent, I may see like maybe a small handful of like teacher has a problems and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm making sense. <sighs> Basically in our ballpark in my area to where something's not gonna put me more than 45, no more than an hour outside of my area. Granted, there's probably a lot of places that I just haven't found. Okay, this is what it is, right? If you're new to my channel, I work 12 hour shifts. And in the time frame that pretty much all daycares work with infants in my area, they either open at 6 or 6.30 and close at 6 or 6.30. So if they open at 6.30, I could draw at 6.30, but I won't be able to get to them by 6.30 if that makes sense. I don't even know what's the point of explaining that. I'm just trying to give you an understanding of my stress in the background so basically for me it's going to be really hard for me to get her in and also me get back to her to pick her up on time so i'm just stressed out i mean i know we can probably do something to work out the times or whatever but trying to think of that and deal with that and deal with the cost because every place that you go past 10 hour increments you are already being docked on time or money for those extra two hours that we would need. And on top of that, it's like it's, if they do work with me, they are hella far or they're hella expensive. And I just don't know what to do or they just have bad reviews. Like, why is it so many places that pretty much suck? Like, <laughs> and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but like, when it comes to my kid, I can care less. The safety of my child is always going to be really important to me. Honestly, I, I'm just scared. I'm just nervous. I'm having a lot of anxiety. <sighs> Some of the things you don't realize after you pray for your kids so much is how much your fight for them never ends. Like, I fought for a baby girl to be here and all that study clothes. I think what sparked this emotion was not only the whole someone breaking in scare or not 
just all the bad reviews but my friend just sent me like a post of these two ladies even though it's not in my area like two daycare workers who are females have been arrested for twisting children's heads they didn't say they were like like killing them but they were twisting their head the very first time in my life i honestly felt like those women, and I had it back of my head, like, those women deserve the chair. And I have never said that. Of course, I didn't say it out loud, but I thought it. Like, I'm like, those women deserve whatever that comes to them for putting their hands on these babies. I didn't even think that when my sister passed away. I even forgave that person. I didn't tell them, of course, but the person who killed my sister, it took a really, really long time, but I forgave him. I just said that they deserve to live in prison, you know? I'm used to the one that says, like, the chair isn't, it's too harsh, you know? In a thought, as soon as my eyes landed across that, that statement, of what the ladies did I was like they deserve whatever happens to them I don't ever want to think negatively on somebody or wish bad on somebody but they're helpless babies in news I hate to keep up with because it's never good and a lot of news channels are biased you know I'm sorry you guys so you know we always make jokes like oh Clarissa's never up to date or whatever but I'm up to date because it's so depressing. It's so depressing to watch news, so I don't. But I'm, learn I'm trying my best to become aware. Stay woke. Right after I read that, I read about someone who was crossing the border with their baby and him and the baby drowned in the bank. And you can see the picture of him and the baby. And the baby was tucked under his shirt. And the baby was two years old. We are all these babies have. I and my husband. It is our responsibility to make sure she's safe. And it's just so scary to think that I have to put my child in daycare and basically gamble and pray that nothing happens. Like I said, my anxiety might be extra high because of everything that's been going on lately. But it's just been a lot. And honestly, I don't know who to talk to, who will understand. And I know coming to you guys was always a way that I dealt with my stress when I felt like no one else understood. So I guess I'm just venting. And I got to the eighth before I had no other choice to get dollar wash. So I have to deal with it. I have to hit this situation head on and I just have to do my best research and finding out what works. There's no way I can 100% entirely protect Nala from the outside. And I understand that. That is not what this is about. What this is about is my fears, my anxiety, my concerns, given my current situation. But I just can't wait until Nala comes home so I can see her face and she will make me feel a lot better. <sighs> I had enough of crying in front of you guys. <laughs> I felt like you guys were overdue to see this face like this. Child. I'm just playing, but yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and go and take a shower, get myself together, pick myself up, and continue striving and continue doing my research. So, till next time.